Hello, and welcome to the Brutal Iron Gym Podcast, where our goal is to cut through the BS and deliver the brutal truth about topics related to health and happiness. Today's podcast number 2,189, the topic is Mindset, and the title is Progress is a Range, Not an Absolute. I have a client, and they wrote the following. I want to lose weight, but I've struggled in the past with various diets. Some diets were too strict. I couldn't follow them, so I'd get frustrated and I'd quit. Some diets were too general that I didn't feel motivated because I wondered if I was making the most progress possible. I don't want to put in effort to only get a mediocre outcome. So they were asking me how I would structure a diet so then they could determine whether it was kind of like progressive enough, like intensity enough, like strict enough to get good results, but not so strict that they thought they couldn't do it. So as we talked more, we uncovered a counterproductive perfectionist mindset that was paired with an absolutist mindset. If they couldn't do something perfectly, it wasn't worth doing at all. So if they couldn't do it, if they, if they believed they couldn't do it when looking at it from the front, like when looking at the structure of the diet going, oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that perfectly, they wouldn't do it at all. Or if as they started something and they messed up, they would say, well, there's no way I can do this like perfect, perfectly the way it's supposed to be, so there's no point in continuing. So, pretty rough spot. <laughs> if the diet was too intense, they'd predict they would make mistakes, so they wouldn't do it. But if the diet wasn't intense enough, they didn't think it was worth doing, so they wouldn't do it. <laughs> this has led to them starting and quitting many diets, and now doing no diet at all but they have the continued feeling of kind of hating how they look, the continued desire to want to do a diet. What's interesting is as we were talking, they have this kind of comfort, this self-perception that they're a hard worker, that they can do anything if they set their mind to it, but yet they're not doing anything. So it was interesting as we were talking, they weren't, they weren't really in a place of self-discovery <laughs> uh, to want to deal with um, that outcome. But they, like, they, they truly think that they're a hard worker and that they can do anything. Like when I put my mind to something, you know, I'll do it. And they gave me all these examples. But yet here I am looking at them and they've quit and failed, you know, dozens of diets and they're doing absolutely nothing. It's like, well, how, like, how do you think that's true of you? whenever all of the history of your actions don't show that. So how can we get ourselves out of this perfectionist mindset, this absolutist mindset? How can we get ourselves out of a place where we think everything has to be perfect, we think we have to be perfect for anything to work? Right? Before we get into that, (laughs) I do want to let you know that there's a 40% discount code for supplements from the company NutriCost. So I've been using their products for over 10 years. Uh, We partnered with them, and we have a discount code specific to us that you can use for 40% discount from now till December 3rd. If you use this code, we get a 10% commission. So this is a great way for you to get a 40% discount on supplements, but then also donate a 10% commission back to us. It doesn't come out of what you pay. It actually comes out of what uh, NutriCost earns. So it's their money, not yours. (laughs) Uh, But... It's a great way to help promote us and help us if you'd like to, if that's something you would consider doing, and you can use it to get a 40% discount for yourself. The code is ROBERTBF40. So the BF stands for Black Friday. So ROBERTBF40. You can use that at NutriCost.com. Now, one of the methods that I use to get rid of this perfectionist, this absolutist mindset, is in diets, I have calorie ranges and protein ranges for clients. So I actually talked about in, I believe it was yesterday's podcast, no, two podcasts ago, uh, so the nutrition, the most recent nutrition podcast, uh, one of the clients' example diets where we were getting ready for their wedding. Their calorie range is 1,400 to 2,100 calories. If you want to find out why it's that large, you can listen to that podcast. Uh, But that's their range. Anywhere between 1,400 to 2,100 calories will make them progress. Their protein range is 115 to 150 grams of protein. Those are big ranges, right? Big, 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 big. 
The idea is at the bottom of that range for their height, their body weight, their activity level, their muscle mass, their body fat percentage, that's the lowest that they would want to go that's still productive. It's not so much of a deficit that the body actually fights fat loss. It's still a productive deficit. But they could go as high as 2,100 calories and they would still see some fat loss. It'd be slow, very slow, but it's still technically a fat loss amount of calories. So our approach is to just stay within those targets. Our goal will be to stay within the full range each day. If they want to push fat loss, they want to push intensity, they would want to eat lower in the range. But if they're feeling fatigued, under-recovered, uh, maybe they need more caloric space because they're traveling and they're eating unfamiliar foods, maybe there's a family event, that's okay if they go higher in the range. Anywhere in that range will produce fat loss. If they want to go lower, they can go ahead and do that. That'll push for more fat loss. But again, anywhere in that range is productive. This allows them a sense of control. They can push the intensity however much they like. But it also allows them the comfort of knowing that anything in the range is productive. Progress isn't 1,400 calories. They have to hit 1,400 calories every day. Progress is a range. They're going to make the best progress lower in the range, but they're still going to make some progress anywhere in the range. This gives them allowed variance in what they do each day based on stress and life events and just the chaos of the day. And it prevents an all or nothing response. It prevents the mindset, if I can't do 1,400 calories, I should just eat whatever I want. Or if I can't do 1,400 calories, I should just quit. Thinking of progress as a range helps us push the intensity within that range when we can. When we push it lower, we can if we can't, you know, if, we, if we're able to. But as long as we're in that range, anywhere in that range, it's still a good day. It's still worth us continuing the diet. Training. You can actually have ranges in training. Maybe your ideal week is four gym workouts a week. Maybe an okay week is you still got four workouts. Maybe you had to do, you know, one or two at home and you got the rest of them at the gym. And a crappy but still progressive week is at least you had four days where you did something above your normal daily basic demands. So maybe your usual step count is 5,000 steps, but you went for an extra walk and you moved around a little bit more and you got 7,500 steps in today. That's still something better than nothing. And if you did that four days a week, that adds up. What you want to achieve, whatever your goal is, whatever you know your definition of success is, will take longer than the length that you can sustain perfection. That, I mean, that's pretty much 99.9% .9 true. What you want to achieve will take longer than the length that you can sustain perfection. Therefore, success depends on days that are less than perfect. Allowing a positive mindset when things can't be perfect. When understanding that progress is a range is necessary for long-term consistency. We have to be okay with variance in what we do. Some days we can be more intense, some days we can't, and that's just the nature of life. Again, why is this necessary to understand? Is because what you want to achieve will take longer than the length that you can sustain perfection. You have to learn to be okay with imperfection. Otherwise, you will never be successful. You can extrapolate this a little bit, expand on a little bit, and somebody can say is, you know, well, so-and-so said that they never broke from their diet. They did their diet absolutely perfect. Well, what else in their life didn't they do perfect? What else in their life did they have to sacrifice in order to allow for perfection in that one area? Are you okay with making that same trade? Maybe they have horrible relationships with loved ones, family, and friends. But they were perfect in their diet. Are you okay with that? If so, great. If not, well, then that's not going to work for you, right? So... Perfection expands beyond just one action, one realm, one focus. 
If you want success while maintaining the other areas of your life, if not actually progressing the other areas of your life, you have to understand and be okay with that there will be variance in the degree of perfection that you can do each day for long enough that it takes to achieve your goal. We have to be okay with and we have to accept and understand that progress is a range. You can't be perfect. You don't even need to be perfect to be successful. What I encourage you to do is to set up ranges for your day. What does a good day look like nutrition-wise for you? What is a, what's the best day, a good day, and an okay day? look like for nutrition, for training, for whatever it factors into your goals. And a book that I'd recommend you read is How to Be an Imperfectionist by Stephen Guise. His last name is G-U-I-S-E. How to Be an Imperfectionist by Stephen Guise. You have to learn to be okay with imperfection. Okay. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. My email is brutalironjim at gmail.com. Remember, you can use the discount code ROBERTBF40 for a 40% discount at NutraCost.com. If you like the podcast, please share the podcast. The more people we share it with, the more people can help. And also, if you like what we share in the podcast, uh, you can find more from us on Instagram and YouTube under the name Brutal Iron Jim. As always, I hope this was helpful, and thank you for listening.